Get off the flag. You see how he starts? You are. Then leave. What? Chief, we got drama. You create shit. Make up shit. Leave. Hell no. Hell no. He owns me. Come on. to our country and in our willingness to sacrifice our time, energy, and even our lives to making it a more perfect union. Today we celebrate one of democracy's core attributes, the peaceful transfer of power. And every day we stand up for core democratic principles which are enshrined in the Constitution, the rule of law, equal protection for all under law, the freedom of speech, press, religion, that the things that make America, America. And we can gain strength from reading our history and listening to the voices of average Americans. They always save us in times of strife. One such American was Major Sullivan Ballou. On July 14th, 1861, when the North and South were lining up for their first battle, a time when our country was bitterly divided and faith in the future of our country was at a nadir, Major Ballou of the Second Rhode Island Volunteers penned a letter to his wife, Sarah. It is one of the greatest letters in American history. It shows the strength and courage of the average American. Allow me to read some of his words, which echo through the ages. My very dear Sarah, he wrote, the indications are very strong that we shall move in a few days, perhaps tomorrow. If it is necessary that I should fall on the battlefield for my country, 
I am ready. I have no misgivings about or lack of confidence in the cause in which I am engaged, and my courage does not halt or falter. I know how strongly American civilization now leans upon the triumph of the government, and how great a debt we owe to those who went before us through the blood and suffering